John Cena has a brand new film coming to theaters this November called Playing With Fire, a comedy about a crew of rugged firefighters attempting to rescue three rambunctious kids. Well, the film has inspired him to join forces with good housekeeping in a contest to recognize hometown heroes. And John joins us right now from our own backyard up in Wesley Chapel. Good morning, John, how are you? Good morning, I'm wonderful. It's good to be in Wesley Chapel and very close to a place I call home. So it's wonderful to talk to you today. Well, I'm a little sad you're not here with us in studio, but I'm gonna get to that in a quick second. Let's first talk about this project. I think you've got a fire engine behind you there. Explain how everything happened in this new film that I know people are gonna be laughing with you. Well, the reason I'm not in studio is because we wanted to do a wonderful backdrop for this whole uh, entire tour. We're talking to a bunch of stations today, and the good folks in Wesley Chapel were nice enough to kind of lend us their brand new fire station before it opens. It's supposed to open next week. So we, we were able to kind of uh, encompass the environment of first responders and then talk to you as well. So I figure that's okay. Playing with Fire is a film about first responders. It's about elite smoke jumpers, fearless individuals that get stuck with their toughest task yet. And that's looking after three kids for a weekend. Uh, these type A personalities are literally crumbled to their core when hilarity ensues when they have no idea what to do or, or in which manner to do it. It's a, it's a wonderful movie. I think kids will enjoy. I think adults, adults will enjoy. Certainly a fun ride for the whole family. And John, now you're going on a mission to kind of recognize some first responders. Talk about why it is so important to you to share the spotlight or even give the spotlight to those people who deserve it most. Well, there's no sharing. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to use the voice that I have to, to give the spotlight to first responders. And it's it's one that I think, I, and I hate using the word deserve, so I'll use one more appropriate. It's one that I think is earned. Uh, these people are extremely modest and they're extremely, extremely humble by nature. But if you look at what their job entails, it is to put their lives in danger to save the lives of others. And I think that is extremely respectful and extremely admirable. So uh, playing with fire is teaming up with Good Housekeeping Magazine. And if you know a first responder, it doesn't need to be a firefighter, it can be medical, it can be police. If you know a first responder, please go to goodhousekeeping.com and tell their story. If you are a first responder and you want to tell your own story, please go to goodhousekeeping.com and do so. So these stories will be able to be profiled and people uh, around the country, around the world, will be able to become more familiar with the duties of these first responders, which is literally to put their lives on the line. A winner will be chosen from the contest, just like every contest, and their prize is they get to be on the cover of uh, Good Housekeeping in November with me, which will be a very interesting cover indeed, and they get a hometown screening of Playing With Fire. So um, basically it's a way for good housekeeping and playing with fire to tell the stories of these individuals that are, that are truly heroes. I love this. You kind of changed my way of thinking there with the not using the word deserve. So thank you for that. That's a, that's a great eye opening and uh, definitely uh, one of those lines I'll always remember. One of the things about you I'm curious, I remember when you came up in the, through the WWE and now movies, you had such an awesome journey. Uh, I think we have a lot more to talk about. So I'm gonna throw this one at you. My co-host just was on maternity leave and just had a baby and is not with us right now. Would you be willing to come down and co-host? <laughs> I had to I'm ask. willing to accept most most any challenge, but it all happens to be uh, in line with logistics. Keep in mind, <laughs> I literally flew back from London yesterday. I'm filming Fast 9 as we speak, and I'm here because we dropped a wonderful trailer, and it's attached to The Lion King, so a lot of folks are going to see The Lion King this weekend, and I wanted to get a first peek at our movie. And then it's heading back to London to film, to film a wonderful movie. So... If I can somehow manage teleportation or bending time, <laughs> I will do my best. Deal. But it's not off the table. It's not off the table. Deal. So, and I thank you very much for the ask. Thank you. I got to go. <laughs>